guys welcome back to my channel i just came back from the grocery store and just to set the mood it is pouring rain right now it's really dark i know you can't really tell with this camera but we're definitely getting to that time of year where it gets dark really early fall is definitely in full swing here and i've been wanting to make a butternut squash pasta like a really creamy cozy warming pasta with butternut squash this along with pumpkin of course is like a quintessential fall vegetable so nice to cook with this this time of year and actually making like a creamy sauce out of it is so good i'm also going to make it with some vegetables and some chicken to get some good vegetables and protein in there too so i'm very excited about this also as we are in the kitchen i wanted to share this with you guys this is a little magnet and it is so cool let me show you guys what i use it for so as you may know we have our little daughter who is so curious about literally everything at this age and she especially loves going through all of our drawers i've mentioned this in a few of my other videos like trying to think of a solution because we didn't want anything too bulky or too difficult to actually open when it comes to child locks but i saw this on amazon and this is such a good solution so this is the little magnet as i mentioned and as you can see here there's a little lock sticker this also came with the kit which is very genius so you place the magnet on top and then you can open the drawer i need both hands to do that so one second so this is the part here that's inside the drawer and again if i put the magnet on that little sticker you can see how it opens how cool is that i had no idea that this kind of thing existed in terms of how like seamless it is there's nothing on the outside so we have it on this drawer this drawer this one here but i have left a few like this one and this one without any lock so she is able to open this and you know this is just like such a mess of a drawer she literally goes through this and empties it pretty much every single day but it is really important to lock certain ones that have like medications or small sharp objects things that could be harmful for her yeah i just make sure the ones that are not locked it's everything that she's able to sort of play with this one has like our tupperware some shopping bags and things like that so here's nothing that she could you know harm herself with or that could break and then what's so cool is that this even comes with like a base a home base which we have put here under our cabinet so you just pop it up there and you always know where this magnet is it doesn't go missing and it's just super convenient so this little product was very well thought out i would highly recommend it i'll make sure to have it linked down below in the description box i'm having a big glass of water right now with lemon juice and some electrolytes i've been upping my lemon waters lately so what i've been doing is when i have my warm water with lemon in the morning i will squeeze half of a lemon for that moment and i'll have it with warm water and then i'll already take the other half of that lemon i'll squeeze it into a glass like this pop it in my fridge i'll take it out in the afternoon and i'll either have it plain with just water and sometimes i'll have it with electrolytes the one that i like is from peak i'll have it linked but just the simple fact of already having some lemon juice squeezed in your fridge in a glass ready to go it makes such a difference in actually having that throughout the day and the reason i've been doing this is to support my immune system and to strengthen my immune health we are approaching cold and flu season and i'm trying to do everything to keep myself healthy i've got a toddler who's super active and i I need to keep myself healthy and strong and energized and i don't have time to get sick so i find vitamin c to always be very helpful of course staying hydrated another form of vitamin c that i like is a liposomal vitamin c you can find lots of different brands the one that i've been taking for the last few months is from live on the liquid version of vitamin c so liposomal that's the most absorbable one by our body and a really great whole food source of vitamin c is actually red bell pepper i think this has more vitamin vitamin C than lemons. I like to cook with this. I have it as a snack with hummus or as a side dish. So I got a few of these two at the grocery store. And vitamin C is not just great for your immune system too, but also for your skin. It is an essential precursor for your body to produce collagen. I love, love, love including lots of vitamin C rich 
foods in my diet. Another really great supplement for supporting your immune system is zinc. Zinc is really important for the normal development of your cells, including your T cells, which are your infection fighting cells of your immune system. Zinc is also a really great antioxidant. It's an anti-inflammatory as well, so it's another thing that is great for your skin health. So when we're thinking about not getting sick and strengthening our immune system so our body can naturally fight off viruses, flus, a common cold, we really have to look at the state of our gut. Are you going to the bathroom regularly? How do you feel with your stomach? Making sure that we're eating really great foods to diversify the bacteria in our gut and have a good amount of fiber in our diet too that will act like a broom within our colon. Another very simple and really great way to support your gut health is to take a high quality probiotic. This is my favorite one from Seed. It's their daily symbiotic and this is actually a probiotic and a prebiotic. What I love about Seed is that it has specific strains that I love not just for my skin health but for your immune system as well. I'll pop them up here on the screen so you guys can see and not all probiotics contain these kinds of bacteria. Seed is a super well-researched probiotic. They have so many clinical trials behind them and it's the probiotic that I trust the most. I've been taking this for over three years. I took it throughout my pregnancy too and I think the thing that makes it so effective and the reason why you can really see results when you're using this is because of the delivery technology of the bacteria. So they are encapsulated with a protective outer shell and this allows the probiotics to make it all the way down to your colon where they need to be to actually have their effect. So this along with my vitamin C and my zinc, these are my three supplements that I take to really strengthen and support my immune system, especially right now. I've definitely been very diligent with all of these things. I will have everything linked down below and if you guys want to try seed, if you haven't already, you can use the link down below and my code AnnieJ25 and that will get you 25% off your first order with seed. I would highly, highly recommend these, especially right now as the seasons are changing and we all want to stay healthy and energized and feeling good. I think prioritizing good supplements and just really taking care of ourselves this time of year is so important. So I will have all of those linked for you down below. I'm now going to get started with our butternut squash pasta. I'm so excited. So first thing, I'm going to prep my butternut squash, first peeling it and then I'm slicing it down the center and then scooping out the seeds from inside and then next I'm going to be slicing it up into cubes they don't have to be perfect by any means we're going to be blending this all later on but do make sure they're approximately the same size so that they cook evenly then just adding all of those into a large pot I'm going to cover it with water and then let all of that come to a boil for about 20 minutes until the butternut squash is fork tender so I always like to have greens with our meal and one of my favorite simple ways to include this is steamed green Green beans. They're fun to eat on the side and they're very easy to prepare. So I've got those going. And then I'm going to boil our pasta. I went for this seashell shaped pasta to hold the creamy butternut squash sauce inside really well. And it did just that. It was really good. So I'm adding in about three cups of pasta and letting that boil. So now the butternut squash is ready. Again, you want to make sure that you can easily stick a fork through the cube. And I'm placing the butternut squash into my blender. I'm adding a little bit of water in there too to make it blend really nice and smooth. It's really important when blending anything hot that you allow the steam to escape through the top so I haven't closed the top fully here as you can see so that is done I'm now moving on to the chicken I'm starting by frying some crushed garlic and olive oil then I'm adding in my chicken sprinkling some Italian seasoning on top and letting those brown once the chicken is fully cooked through, I'm gonna add in the cooked pasta and the blended butternut squash on top. And I'm also adding in some chicken broth here. This is one cube of dissolved broth in hot water. And that's it. Just stir everything together and it's ready. I like mine without any dairy, like cheese, cream. It just really aggravates my skin, so I try to avoid it. So I serve myself a portion and then I also put some in a Tupperware for lunch the next day. I always love to do that. And then for my husband and daughter I sprinkle in a little parmesan for a little extra flavor and creaminess and everyone really enjoyed this. Got the steamed green beans there too which Nalia also loves biting into like french fries and overall this was really good. Such a cozy meal and would highly recommend trying this out. 
Good morning, guys. I am wearing this really cute little outfit this morning. I absolutely love these wide leg trousers. They are so comfortable. They're from Zara. And this cute little crop jacket with these gold buttons, also from Zara. I'm about to film a reel for my Instagram with this outfit and two of my other like favorite fall outfits at the moment. I've really been loving posting on my Instagram lately. If you guys are not following me there, definitely check it out. I've been posting there pretty regularly the last few weeks both photos and video content so if you guys want to check it out i'll have my instagram linked below and i was playing around with the setup of this content so i think i'm going to do it like this that's obviously my phone there so the frame will be like there i think that will look nice and also i am absolutely loving this little tripod here i got this on amazon and it's perfect for setting up your phone to take videos very easy to maneuver and set up obviously it's meant for a desk but when i want some additional height i just put it on a chair and it works perfect i'll also have this linked down below for you guys if you also make content and you want a really great tripod for the phone this one is amazing Here is the second look. I love this one. It's simple, chic, and super comfortable. These jeans are from H&M. They've got like a little twisted seam. Really, really love these. They remind me a lot of a Goldie jeans, and the wash is really nice too. And then my sneakers are super ga. And then blazer is Zara. Perfectly oversized. Could easily dress this up or down. Really love this look. Okay, and then this is the third look that I've put together that I really, really love. Again, very comfortable, neutral color palette, all in a pretty similar tone. I think it always looks very chic when you do that. And this is a little warmer because of the turtleneck and the blazer as well is a pretty thick material, so it's perfect for the full time. it to three looks for the purpose of the reel but i have so many other outfits that i'm thinking of right now that i could do so let me know if you would want to see a part two if you enjoyed that video and also let me know which look is your favorite which is the one that you would most likely wear and i'll also make sure to have all of the pieces linked for you down below in the description box especially the ones that are new and for the ones that are older i'll try to have similar items linked it is officially November right now, which means that Christmas and the holidays is just around the corner. It's so crazy. I've been going back and forth like what do we do about having a Christmas tree this year? I've been talking to my friends about it who also have toddlers. I can just see Nalia like going wild for that Christmas tree with all the baubles and the ornaments and a lot of it is glass too so I don't know if it's a safe and like toddler friendly thing to have in your home let me know if you guys also have kids or like younger kids did you put up a Christmas tree as well or did you skip it like when they were at this age yeah I'm trying to think of a solution for that because I love Christmas I love decoring but I also very much understand that Nelly is a toddler and she's super curious I do really love to get organized and sorted early though with my Christmas gift so that's something that I've already started planning and I love to take advantage of the November time to get my gifts because it is Black Friday which is usually the time where brands have the biggest sale of the year so it is such a great opportunity to get your Christmas gifts at that time and and plus you also get it done early so that you're not stressing and feeling super rushed around Christmas time so you can actually enjoy it I've been doing that the last few years and I highly highly recommend it does take a little bit of planning and organizing but it is so worth it to feel prepped and organized especially if you are a really busy person and we are also doing a really big sale this year for Black Friday it's actually going to be the biggest sale that we've ever done the team and I have gone back and forth to really see what is 
the best deal that we can offer you guys for this short period of time of Black Friday. And we've started our Black Friday a little bit earlier this year as well. So it is actually live right now and it's gonna run until the 26th of November. So the offer is 30% off site-wide. You don't need a code and that is 30% off everything. And then you will get a gift with your purchase pending on the value of your order. So if you spend over 40, you can choose a free tool of your choice. So we've got three tools. We've got the face mask application brush, our cleansing pads, and our hair clips. You can choose one of those for free if your order is over 40. Then if your order is over 60, you can choose again between a free tool or you can also have the option of getting a free pillow spray, which is our newest launch. It is this product right here. It smells absolutely incredible. You can spray this, of course, on your pillow, on your sheets, but you can also use it as a body spray. You can use it during the day too if you are sitting at your desk, if you're doing yoga or you're meditating. It's really a versatile scent that just smells so, so good. And if you spend over 80, you can again choose between a tool or you can even get our clarifying bite and face mask for free. So this is a full-size version. This is the first time that we've ever given away a full-size skincare product for free. So again, you can get the mask if you spend over 80 and you can get the pillow spray if you spend over 60 or any of the tools as well. And this is only while supplies last. So definitely check this out if you have been wanting to try any of our products. Again, this is all with 30% off as well and there is no code needed. Everything is automatically applied at checkout. I hope that you guys enjoy this offer. Definitely take advantage of it. It's only gonna be running for a few weeks, again, until the 26th of November. I will have our website linked down below. You can also read reviews there, find out more about our products and all of that. So our website will be linked down below. Okay, here's another dinner I love to make this time of year. Seasonal oven roasted veggies with salmon. It's easy to prepare, super healthy and well balanced. So Brussels sprouts are another like quintessential fall vegetable. We actually only have these in our grocery stores this time of year. So it's something I love to cook with these days. And I love roasting them in the oven. You can actually pair them really well with potatoes and carrots. They have approximately the same roasting time. So I'm just slicing everything up to be approximately the same size so everything cooks evenly then i'm also chopping up some fresh rosemary this goes so well with oven roasted veggies and i love to cook with fresh herbs whenever i can they've got their own really great health benefits and they just add so much freshness and flavor to a dish at this point i forgot to also add in some sliced onions i'm doing that now and i'm also throwing a few sliced garlic cloves in there too topping it with some olive oil and salt giving that a good mix and then pouring everything onto a lined baking tray. I love the freshness and the beautiful colors of this dish. So hearty and just perfect for fall. So this is going to roast in the oven for about 40 minutes at 220 Celsius. So you can really pair this with any protein of your choice. One of my go-tos is roasted salmon. It's so simple to prepare and just tastes amazing. So I just spray the fillets with olive oil. I pour some tamari sauce on top, sprinkle some garlic powder and onion powder, and then some oregano. This gives the best flavoring on top of the salmon. That is gonna go in the oven for 20 minutes at 180 degrees once the veggies are done. Another fall thing I love to make this time of year is an apple crumble. Apples are also in season right now. They are so good. And to make this extra special for fall, I've been using pumpkin spice in the recipe too, and it's so incredible. So first I'm just peeling and slicing up the apples, adding those directly to my baking dish. And then to that, you can either sprinkle on cinnamon, but for this fall version, I'm doing pumpkin spice and then a little maple syrup and about three tablespoons of water and then just give that a little mix. Next onto the crumble, I'm combining one cup of oats with half a cup of almond flour. You can also use regular flour and then half a cup of chopped almonds or walnuts. And then again, the pumpkin spice, but you can also use cinnamon, a little salt, one fourth of a cup of melted coconut oil and one fourth of a cup of pure maple syrup. And that's it. Just mix it all together till you form a nice crumble consistency and pour it on top of the apples. And this is gonna bake 
at 180 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes. I'll make sure to have this recipe written out for you below in the description box if you want to try it out for yourself, which I would highly recommend. So here is our dinner ready and plated. We all enjoyed this so much. And later on, we had the pumpkin spice apple crumble. It's so good as dessert or even as a snack during the day. I love the healthy, minimal ingredients in this, but it still tastes so like fun and decadent. And I had that with some hot chocolate too. I hope that you guys found some good inspiration in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.